Is that France? <laughs> you made it through Thanksgiving. French made it through Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey, Fritz. You made it through Thanksgiving? That's good. Oh, man, I was really worried about you. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you going? I can't video in my armpit. <laughs> Is he going to chase us again? Look. That's funny. You chasing us? <laughs> Bye, Fritz. So we're marking the uh, porch footings. <laughs> Barrett's working diligently not to get it on the tape. Yeah. <laughs> had them so you had to scrape the paint off the tape just to be able to read it don't encircle yourself it's bad luck it's witchery <laughs> that's good Oh, it's cold this morning, but it's kind of chilly. Yeah. There you go. See if you stand outside the square, you don't hex your. You won't have any voodoo chickens coming after you. <laughs> we should put a star in there. See what the footing guy does. I ain't funny. digging them holes. Now, admittedly, these are kind of far apart. They're like what, 11 feet or something. But uh, I'm going to get a beam that will span that distance because let's see if I'll be able to flash a picture. I didn't want one, one more porch post. I would have put a, a post right in the middle of the door, Barrett. And also there's a big kitchen window here and it's like seven feet long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is beside it. So it just turned out that way. You need to kind of pay attention sometimes to your design and just design around it, right? So if it calls for a thicker beam to hold up this these porch joists between these, then that's what you gotta do. You gotta fill in this big hole. Uh, take Any more loads? <laughs> Trying to get the last few shots of these tree leaves before they go. So pretty. Juxtaposed with the roughness of the excavator.